A young man named James finds himself in an unimaginable situation. Dressed in a beautiful sari, he stands at the heart of his Aunt Jessica's wedding, not as a guest, but as a bridesmaid. This isn't a case of mistaken identity or a sudden change of heart. It's the result of a playful bet gone unexpectedly serious, a story that begins with a challenge and unfolds into a journey of self-discovery and family bonds. Now, let's start the main story. Sitting in the parlor, enveloped in the softness of the petticoat and the delicate fabric of the sari selected by Jasmine, I was a bundle of mixed emotions. The memory of the bet with Aunt Jessica, made in a moment of naive bravado, now seemed like a whimsical chapter from a distant past. Yet, here I was, about to step into a role that felt worlds apart from anything I had ever experienced. It was an odd, yet enlightening experience. The sari, an elegant cascade of fabric, was a stark contrast to the jeans and t-shirts I was accustomed to. Jasmine and her friend, well-versed in the art of sari draping, had transformed me, and I couldn't help but feel a sense of awe at their skill. As I sat there, legs crossed, a feeling of shyness overcame me. It was a new sensation, this vulnerability, and it made me think about how Aunt Jessica must have felt during our bet. She was always bold and fearless, unafraid to challenge norms or take on a dare. I realized that this experience was more than just fulfilling a bet. It was a lesson in empathy, a way to step into someone else's shoes, quite literally, and see the world from a different perspective. As I adjusted the sari and tried to sit comfortably, I couldn't help but admire the strength and grace that came with wearing such an attire. It was a quiet tribute to the women in my life, especially Aunt Jessica, who had always pushed boundaries and challenged stereotypes. As the final touches were added to my look, I felt a mix of anticipation and nervousness. How would everyone react? Would they see the humor and the lesson in this situation? One thing was for sure, this was going to be a wedding to remember. As I sat in the parlor, the soft hum of conversation and the occasional burst of laughter from Jasmine and her friend filled the air. I couldn't help but feel a sense of camaraderie despite the unusual circumstances. The petticoat snug around my waist was a new sensation, while the blouse, with its intricate patterns and perfect fit, felt surprisingly comfortable. The sari, a beautiful cascade of fabric in rich hues, was Jasmine's selection, and she had draped it around me with the skill of a seasoned expert. I looked at myself in the mirror, hardly recognizing the person staring back. The sari transformed not just my appearance, but also the way I carried myself. It demanded a certain grace and poise, a stark contrast to my usual carefree demeanor. As I sat, crossing my legs and trying to manage the voluminous fabric, I realized the complexity and beauty of this traditional attire. It was a humbling experience, one that made me appreciate the elegance and effort that went into wearing a sari. Feeling a bit shy and self-conscious, I watched as Jasmine and her friend chatted and laughed, their ease and comfort in their attire making me feel slightly out of place. Yet, there was an undercurrent of excitement, too. Today was Aunt Jessica's wedding, a day of celebration, and I was part of it in a very unique way. The parlor was filled with the scents of jasmine and roses, the air buzzing with the anticipation of the upcoming festivities. The makeup artist, a young woman with a bright smile, approached me. Ready? she asked, her tone gentle yet encouraging. As she began her work, I found myself relaxing. Her skilled hands moved deftly, enhancing features I didn't even know could look so different. The transformation was not just external. It was as if each brushstroke was painting a new layer of understanding within me. The whole experience, surreal as it was, taught me an important lesson about empathy and understanding. I was stepping into a role I had never imagined. And in doing so, I was gaining a new perspective on the women in my family, especially Aunt Jessica, whose adventurous spirit had inadvertently led me to this moment. As the makeup artist finished her work, Jasmine handed me a pair of earrings, their stones sparkling in the parlor's soft light. You look beautiful, she said, and I could hear the sincerity in her voice. I stood up, the sari flowing around me, and took a deep breath. It was time to face the wedding crowd. I was no longer just a spectator. I was a part of the celebration in a way I had never anticipated. 
It was a day of new experiences, of breaking barriers and seeing the world through a different lens. And as I stepped out of the parlor, ready to embrace the day, I felt a newfound respect for the traditions and strengths of the women around me. The sound of Jasmine's teasing voice snapped me back to the present. Hey bro, pose for the camera, or should I say sis, Jimmy or James? She chuckled, camera in hand. I felt a mix of embarrassment and amusement as I posed, the camera capturing this unusual moment in my life. After a few clicks and lighthearted comments, we made our way to the room where Aunt Jessica was being prepared for her big day. My heart raced as we approached the door. I knew the room would be filled with family, all there to celebrate Jessica's special day. Taking a deep breath, I stepped inside. The reaction was immediate and palpable. A collective gasp filled the room, followed by a stunned silence. I felt my cheeks grow warm, a deep blush spreading across my face. I gathered all my courage and, with a shaky voice, said, Just fulfilling my bet, Auntie. Jessica turned to look at me, her expression one of complete surprise. What bet? she exclaimed. Then, her eyes widened in realization. Oh, that bet, but didn't Jasmine tell you? You scored more than me. She seemed genuinely confused. Just last week I showed her the fake score sheet I had shown you that day. I even planned to sponsor a foreign trip as a gift and gave her money to book your tickets. Her words hit me like a thunderbolt. A fake score sheet? A foreign trip? I turned to look at Jasmine, my eyes filled with questions. Jasmine's expression was a mix of guilt and mischief. I thought it would be fun to see you go through with the bet, she said with a sheepish grin. The room erupted into laughter, the tension breaking like a popped balloon. I stood there, still processing the revelation, a smile slowly creeping onto my face. The surprise, the shock, the entire ordeal suddenly seemed like a well-crafted plot in a comedy of errors. Aunt Jessica came over and wrapped her arms around me in a warm, forgiving hug. I admire your courage to stick to your word, she whispered her voice filled with affection and pride. The rest of the family joined in, their laughter and chatter filling the room with a festive spirit. I realized then that this experience, as embarrassing as it was, had brought us all closer together. It was a reminder of the love and camaraderie that bound us as a family. As I stood there, amidst my laughing relatives, in a sari and makeup, I felt a sense of belonging and joy. This would be a story retold at family gatherings for years to come, a testament to the playful, loving spirit of our family. And as for the foreign trip, it was now a real promise, a new adventure waiting to unfold. As the laughter and light-hearted teasing continued, a sudden, unexpected hush fell over the room. The reason for the abrupt silence was as surprising as it was mysterious, a beautifully crafted, antique-looking envelope lying unobtrusively on the dressing table, its presence previously unnoticed. The envelope bore my name in elegant, flowing script. I picked it up, my fingers tracing the intricate patterns embossed on its surface. The family's curiosity was piqued. None of us had seen this envelope before. Open it, urged Aunt Jessica, her eyes sparkling with curiosity. Carefully, I broke the seal and pulled out a letter. The handwriting inside matched the elegance of the envelope. It read, Dear my name, congratulations on completing your journey of understanding and empathy. You have shown great courage and character in fulfilling your bet. And for that, you deserve a reward far greater than a mere trip. Enclosed with this letter is a map. This is not just any map, but one that leads to an adventure like no other. Follow it, and you will find a journey that will test your wit, courage, and heart. This is a family legacy, a secret passed down for generations, and now it's your turn to embark on this quest. Good luck, a friend from the shadows. Beneath the letter was indeed a map, old and worn, with a route marked in red ink leading to an unknown destination. The room was buzzing with excitement and speculation. Aunt Jessica, as adventurous as she was, denied any knowledge of this mysterious challenge. My heart raced with excitement and apprehension. What was this quest? Who had sent it? And why now? It felt like a call to an adventure far beyond the foreign trip I had anticipated. The family's laughter was now replaced with encouraging words and excitement about this unexpected twist. As I stood there, 
holding the mysterious map, I knew that this was the beginning of something extraordinary, a journey not just of miles, but of self-discovery and adventure. This wedding day had turned into the start of an adventure I never could have imagined. As Jasmine's words echoed through the room, a mixture of shock and confusion washed over me. Her revelation, whether a jest or truth, only added to the surreal nature of the day. The giggles and whispers from the aunts and their friends felt like tiny pinpricks against my already heightened sense of vulnerability. My mother's voice cut through the chatter, stern and disbelieving. What? Is this all a joke, James? We need to talk about this in the evening. The room fell silent at her tone. She then softened slightly, adding, Now, if you want to be a bridesmaid, you should follow all the rituals, too. The reality of my situation started to sink in. I was not just dressed as a bridesmaid. I was now expected to perform the role in its entirety. My mother's directive was clear. Lead the bride into the wedding hall and do it with a smile. The responsibility felt heavy on my shoulders, but I didn't want to be the one to mar Aunt Jessica's special day. I took a deep breath, mustering as much grace and confidence as I could. The King Coconut, a symbol of prosperity and good fortune in our tradition, felt awkward in my hands, its weight a tangible reminder of the role I had unwittingly accepted. The sari, though beautiful, was a challenge to maneuver in. Each step had to be measured and careful to avoid tripping over the elegantly draped fabric. As I led the procession into the wedding hall, the sound of the ladies' giggles behind me was a constant reminder of the day's bizarre turn of events. The hall was beautifully decorated, flowers and lights creating a magical ambiance. All eyes turned towards us as we entered, a mixture of surprise and amusement on the faces of the guests. Despite the initial embarrassment, I found myself embracing the role. There was something liberating about stepping out of my comfort zone, something empowering about facing and accepting this unexpected challenge. I walked with as much poise as I could muster, the King Coconut held high, leading the way for Aunt Jessica, the radiant bride. As we reached the front of the hall, I turned to see her beaming at me, a look of gratitude and affection in her eyes. In that moment, any lingering feelings of humiliation or betrayal faded away, replaced by a sense of accomplishment and a deep connection to my family's traditions and rituals. The wedding ceremony proceeded with joy and laughter, and I, in my unlikely role as a bridesmaid, found a new appreciation for the unexpected journeys life can take us on. It was a day that would be etched in my memory forever, a story to be told and retold, a testament to family, tradition, and the courage to embrace the unknown. The wedding ceremony unfolded with a vibrant mix of tradition and joy, a perfect reflection of Aunt Jessica's spirited nature. As the bridesmaids and I navigated through the rituals, I found a rhythm in my steps, the earlier awkwardness giving way to a newfound confidence. The sari, once a symbol of my lost bet, had become a garment of pride, each fold and pleat telling a story of tradition and family bonds. The ceremony was a beautiful blend of laughter, heartfelt vows, and the unmistakable warmth of love that filled the air. I observed the guests, their faces alight with happiness, and felt a deep sense of belonging. This experience, as unexpected as it was, had brought me closer to my family and our traditions. As the evening progressed, the formalities of the ceremony gave way to the celebrations of the reception. The hall was alive with music, the sounds of the traditional drums and flutes mixing with modern beats. I found myself drawn to the dance floor, the rhythm of the music inviting. Dancing in a sari was an entirely new experience, but one I embraced wholeheartedly. The fabric swirled around me as I moved, each step a celebration of the day's unique journey. Jasmine joined me, her laughter infectious as we danced together. You're a natural at this, she teased, her earlier mischief replaced with genuine affection. Our family and friends circled around us, clapping and cheering, their encouragement fueling our dance. As the night wore on, the atmosphere of the wedding shifted from ceremonial to jubilant. Stories were shared, memories were made, and the laughter was abundant. I realized that the day's events, though initially daunting, had created unforgettable memories, 
and strengthened the bonds within our family. When the time came to change out of the sari, I felt a twinge of nostalgia. This garment, once a symbol of a playful bet, had become a cherished memory of a day filled with unexpected lessons, laughter, and love. As I folded the sari carefully, I made a mental note to thank Aunt Jessica for the inadvertent adventure and for the opportunity to see the world through a different lens, if only for a day. The wedding of Aunt Jessica would be remembered not just for its joy and festivities, but also for the unexpected journey it took me on. A journey of self-discovery, understanding, and the unbreakable bonds of family. And as for the mysterious map and letter, they promised a future adventure, a tantalizing prospect that hinted at more unexpected turns in the road ahead. In the days following Aunt Jessica's wedding, the experience of being a bridesmaid lingered in my mind. It wasn't just about the attire or the rituals, it was about stepping out of my comfort zone and embracing a side of myself I had never explored. This experience, unusual as it was, opened my eyes to the importance of understanding and empathy. With Jasmine's support, I began to explore different facets of my personality. She encouraged me to be open-minded and to disregard traditional stereotypes. It wasn't about the clothes themselves, but rather the freedom to express myself in new and diverse ways. Jasmine, ever the fashion enthusiast, helped me experiment with styles that were unconventional for me, allowing me to discover a broader spectrum of self-expression. This journey wasn't about becoming a cross-dresser, it was about breaking free from the constraints of what society expected me to be. It was about finding comfort in my own skin, whether in a pair of jeans or experimenting with attire that was traditionally not associated with my gender. As time passed, my family and friends noticed a change in me. I became more confident, more in tune with who I was, and less concerned about how others expected me to be. My experiences, especially the one at Aunt Jessica's wedding, taught me the value of self-acceptance and the joy of embracing all aspects of my personality. In the end, the story of that day became one of many in my journey of self-discovery. It was a chapter about understanding, about challenging norms, and most importantly, about the love and support of family and friends who stood by me, regardless of the attire I chose to wear. The mysterious map and letter that appeared at the wedding remained an unsolved riddle, a promise of future adventures and stories yet to unfold. And as for me, James, I stepped into the future with a heart full of courage and a mind open to the endless possibilities that life had to offer.